going on guys here with Hardy Tech. Welcome back to Pokemon Light Platinum, the newest lock run in the last episode. We made our way to Drake Breast City and then my entire Light Platinum world came crashing down around me. As you probably know if you watched uh, the last grinding video, number 5, that was the last video I posted or something like that. Um, there was a big glitch in the game where I had to pretty much replay half the game from like the 4th gym up to here, so... Literally all day yesterday was spent playing Light Platinum, and after that I did grinding. I got everybody up to 58 except Orange and Rusty, who are level 53, because I figured we could just train them against the gym trainers. But before we could do any of that, we have to go to our hometown and go to um, talk to the professor, because what was wrong in the game was uh, apparently I was supposed to go back to like the big tower thing we were in last episode, and from there I was supposed to pick up the stone tablet, which I didn't do. So, once I left the building and went on to Drake Breast City, when I went to go back, the you couldn't enter the building. And of course, there was some people who were smart enough to say, Hardy, why didn't you just use the walkthrough wall glitch? Because I'm not that smart, so instead I decided to waste literally like 7 hours of my day. So, that was fun. Anyways, now that we have the stone path, the an event automatically triggers and we can go talk to Professor Jasmine. I managed to find the last party, Alpha Scripture. <gasps> That's great! The tablet completes the scripture! Maze, let's take a look! Incredible! Now I know where all this means! I know why Team Steam is attacking Zero here and going after the legendary Pokemon. I'll explain everything. The story begins in a place called Alpha Universe. Oh, okay, it's cool. So we're actually gonna see some cool cutscene. Alright, this is awesome. Our story begins at the dawn of time before the existence of Pokemon in the Alpha Universe. That was about to change. An egg appeared which soon hatched and the first and most powerful Pokemon Arceus was born. I think Arceus just peed. Arceus was enormously powerful but felt alone in an empty world. It was then that he created another world, the Distortion World, and Giratina, another very powerful Pokemon chosen by Arceus to rule it. Giratina was also extremely powerful and was responsible for the Distortion World, a place as empty as the Alpha Universe. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. Next came Dialga and Palkia. Dialga was given power over time and Palkia over space. They became Arceus's guardians. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon because he has a giant ego. Raw. Then Arceus created the land, the ocean, and the sky, along with Pokemon to watch over them, Groudon, Kyogre, and Rayquaza. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon because A hey, he just has to make all the news headlines. The two more guardians, Ho-Oh, the rainbow Pokemon, guardian of the heavens, and Lugia, guardian of the earth, was created. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. My god, Arceus, will you calm down? This is getting ridiculous. Next came Reshiram and Zekrom, the guardians of life and death. I thought that's what the X and Y legendary Pokemon were, sir. Except it's destruction instead of death because Pokemon is for kids. Arceus created still more legendary Pokemon. Oh, I thought that was the Scraggy at first. I'm like, what is Callum doing here? But no. After that, Arceus created many other legendary Pokemon, such as Mew, who was responsible for creating all the normal Pokemon. Normal Pokemon. That is so demeaning. It's like, oh, you normal Pokemons. But recently, Team Steam disrupted the balance of the Alpha Universe using a very powerful radio antenna, which caused fighting between the legendary Pokemon. Arceus has been using his power to stop these battles, but the effort has weakened him. Giratina, created with power equal to Arceus, is trying to take his throne. Arceus is too weak to fight back. Now that Arceus is tired and weakened from stopping so many battles, it's the perfect time for Team Steam to catch it and gain possession of the strongest Pokemon the universe has ever known. Didn't they just say Giratina was equal in power, though? That's kind of contradicting itself. Team Steam became so interested in Arceus, the world's first legendary Pokemon, because it created all the others. More specifically, their DNA stems from Arceus's DNA. Is that it? Uh... Hello? Very good, Hardy. It seems like you were born to become a legendary trainer. I'll be following your journey from- Oh, okay. Well, that- that ended really abruptly, I'm not gonna lie. Um... Oh, okay. So... I guess we just- Do we go challenge the gym now? Because... I, I was expecting like more dialogue and then all of a sudden it's just like oh you can go now so uh 
That's, you know. The gym is temporarily closed because Team Steam's attack. My apologies. Okay, that's cool. So, oh, oh, we can go in here now. Never mind. What is this? Mount Draken. By the way, um, I want to point this out really quick because I like had to replay the game through for from the fourth gym until now. I've yet to like recatch some of the Pokemon I had before. So if we ever go to the box and you see some Pokemon missing, I just have to go recatch them. So I'll do that at a later time. And but we don't worry, I'll get the same ones as before. Blah blah blah. I can't promise they'll be like the same level, but they'll be in like the same area and all that and whatever. And we can catch whatever Pokemon this is. is which is gonna be? Hey, Swabu, we've already had one of you, and it's level 15, so I have a feeling whatever we get here is probably going to be completely useless. Mount Draken. You would think we'd find a dragon Pokemon here, and while we already have, like, a ton of dragon-type Pokemon, it's another Altaria. Which reminds me, by the way, while grinding, I think the only new move we got was Fruit Whoop, who gained Dragon Claw. Oh my god, I'm so happy about that. So, looks like Fruit Whoop may be pretty useful in this upcoming gym. Can we actually get something... It's a Zubat. Wow. Oh, why can't Golbat? Ugh, we already have a Golbat, but... No, we... Ha okay, never mind. It's dead. Well, that's our encounter for this route. Now we can't catch anything here. So, I should probably just use Repel, because it's... You think, like, hey, we're at the end... Like, almost at the end of the game. Let's make it all difficult. No, let's instead use freaking all Swablus and Zubats, because... Why should your life be any fun? All right. Wow, you were really predictable. Even after studying your movements, Team Steam doesn't know much about you, but we know you were going to come here and try to interfere with our plans. I didn't even know you guys were here. I just thought it was open, and I like to go in holes. You don't have a chance. I'll catch Arceus, and I'll beat you here and now. Oh, yeah, I'm totally sure that's going to happen. There's totally no way I'm just going to sweep you with probably one Pokemon and make you have to go home because you're a sore loser. Steam Waiter Percy would like to battle. Steam Waiter Percy sent out Tyranitar. Ooh, interesting. Uh, really quick, I want to take a drink while I earthquake this thing. If you're curious, I am drinking a black cherry soda today. Oh my god, he used scary face. Oh, I'm so scared. And, oh, he crutched us. Oh my god, this Tyranitar knows what's up. I might as well just go home. Oh, I forgot to turn on move animations. I am sorry. I turned them off when I was replaying the game because, like, it was taking forever. And I forgot to turn them on. So, I would do that after this battle. And it won't be like that one time in Fire Red when I'm like, oh, I'll turn it on after this battle. And I, wow, that did a ton of, what? Really? Really? Okay. Okay. This is probably what I get for saying, like, oh, this game, this is going to be easy. Because now Orange is like, hey, let's just freaking die. Oh, so that's cool. There's... Okay, well, he's going to keep going for Earthquake, so we can just switch into Fruit Loop. Oh, no, he's going to go for Crunch, because screw me. He totally actually predicted that. That was actually really clever on his part. Let's put on Dragon Claw, which maybe we'll do over half. He used Dragon Claw, too, which does... No! Oh! <gasps> Fruit Whoop! Oh! That was a crit. Thank you for being a crit. That's all I have to say. Why would you use Dig? Um, okay. I'll just waste a turn using Crunch and you can... Yo, why do you have Dig and Earthquake? I know you probably just have, like, Gar whatever Garchomp's level up set is, but... Really? Dig and Earthquake? That seems kind of, kind of productive. That was amazing, but you'll never be strong enough to stop Team Steam. Maybe if you actually had, like, more than two Pokemon. I'll admit that kind of was, like, the most difficult battle we've had in a while, simply because Lapras almost died, but still. I'll accomplish Team Steam's goals at any cost. Oh my god, someone that actually doesn't care if they lose, and they just, like, continue on with life. I have a newfound respect for him, and we shall continue on after him. Into Mount Draken. The, oh, oh, I have a feeling something big's about to go down. Oh god, look, it's... Uh, okay, the only one I recognize there is Ash and two other random guys. So, look, Hardy, things have already gotten out of control. Besides me is Ash Ketchum, who you already know is world champion, and Wesley, Drake Breath City's gym leader. I think we, I think we got here too late. Wesley and Ash were defeated by Zero. He's without a doubt the most powerful member of Team Steam. He might even have power to capture Arceus and rule the world. Arceus, weakened from stopping so many battles between legendary Pokemon, would be easily defeated and captured. Right now, it's being attacked by three of the strongest Pokemon in the world, Dialga, Palkia, and Giratina. I think we're out of options. You're our last chance. Oh, yeah, so, you know, the world champion just got defeated. But, you know, it's cool because some random kid with the Crocker Rock is here. So, yeah. Dial, dial. Okay, are we really going to do, like, this useless dialogue again where they just say their name over and over? Because that's cool. Oh my god, I love this part of the game. It's so fascinating. Oh, okay, we're gonna do it a third time now. That's awesome. Can we stop now? Nope, okay. Oh, 
Arceus is starting to glow. This is getting scary. Oh my god. Zero, you idiot, hurry up. This might be our only chance to capture Arceus. Yeah, just, you know, walk up here, walk in between these four guys, because this is totally cool, not like anything bad could actually happen. I was chosen to capture you. Feel proud, Arceus. I'll catch you with the Alpha Ball. Soon you'll be part of Team Steam. Oh, oh, are we actually going to have to, like, sit here and watch this? Okay, that's cool. So, a wild Arceus appeared, and this dude has Garchomp. Shouldn't this Garchomp be fainted? And it all it has is Dragon Rage. I seem to remember you using Earthquake Dig and... Uh, crunch. Sir, what happened to your other moves? I'm a little curious now. Oh, he is Psychic. Oh, God. I didn't even know Arceus learned Psychic, so... I guess he learned something every day. Sorry, I keep drinking now. I'm, like, really thirsty all of a sudden. And... Oh, my God, he has a potion. That's gonna be so useful on your level 59 Garchomp. That's not even an Alpha Ball. That's just a regular Pokeball, sir. Sir, are you lying to me? Sir, what is... No. 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 Oh, no way. Who do you think you are, Chuck and Conroy? You can't catch something with a Pokeball. Okay, that's cool. This is incredible. We have the world's greatest power. Well, I will be invincible. We'll rule this planet. Oh, uh, what's going on? What's going on? I don't like this. I don't like the shakingness. Ah, exclamation points. Oh, okay. Arceus doesn't give a crap. That's cool. Uh, impossible. Arceus escaped. He's even more powerful in the alpha form. Oh my god, rocks are falling. I don't like this. Yeah, yeah. you know, I'm with Palky and Dialga. Let's just kind of, like, be like bananas and split. So, impossible. My perfect plan failed. The alpha ball was destroyed. Everyone, watch out. Arceus is banishing Giratina to the distortion world, and anyone nearby will be sent there with it. Oh, okay, so you tell me to run away. Let's just, you know, chill here. That's cool. Uh, hello? My dream for Team Steam is all but over, but I can still at least catch Giratina. Are we really going to watch this? Oh, oh, what just happened? Oh my god, wait, what? <gasps> well, this is unexpected. Um, okay, I wonder if we're going to get a walk on walls like in Platinum. I can't believe we're visiting Distortion World for a second time now. Last time we were here, we had to beat Giratina, and I was, I was sick. That was fun. That was a long time ago, too. I don't know where to go, but this all feels so oddly familiar. Oh, hey, you're not Cyrus. I see, you were also taking a distortion world. You know that I've been keeping an eye on you, and you really seem a lot like me. I don't want to fight you, but when we were sucked into a distortion world, we were condemned. The only way to get out of here is to capture Giratina and use its power to escape. Finding Giratina in a place like this is impossible. We're doomed to die here. Wait, that means catching Giratina is the single most important thing in my life. I have to catch it at any cost, and that makes you my only threat. I have to defeat you. I wasn't even going to stop you, bro. Go catch Giratina. I don't care. Why? No, why are you Why are you facing me? I wasn't even going to stop you. You can have Giratina. It's okay. I don't want him. Oh my god, dude. We don't need to do this. Why did I not switch out Rusty? Uh-huh. Wow. Okay, special defense fell. Um, Kekles, I'm sure, can take an outrage. Just fine. Wow, I was almost like very stupid there. And now with your special defense lord, we can extra sensor you. And hopefully that should do a pretty- Oh my god, I forgot to turn on animations! Ow! Okay, I, I will do it after this battle, I promise. I'm not even like gonna think of anything else. That is the most important thing in life now, is turning on animations. Oh, why would you use agility? You're about to die. It doesn't matter if you're faster at all. Salamance? No, bad. Bad Salamance. You're just so silly. What is next? Is it Garchomp? This battle seems awfully familiar. Uh, but let's hope for once that Ice Cream didn't miss. That stupid Sand Veil. I hate that ability so much. It's That's like such an OP ability. And I think Gliscor gets it. And Gliscor gets so many good things. Gliscor gets Poison Heal. Gliscor gets Sand Veil. Gliscor is just like the enemy of the world. Gliscor is so OP. I don't think I've ever actually had a Gliscor. I think I had a Gligar at one point, but never a Gliscor. And a Hydreigon! Ooh, I think this is our first time actually encountering a Hydreigon. So, let's go with... Uh, let's go with Cluckers on this one. Although, I think Hydreigon, um... Like a common move set. Although, I gotta remember, this is like just using their level up sets. This isn't like custom sets for some reason. Because I was gonna say, a lot of the times, Hydreigons might have like Surf. So, you gotta be careful about that. But... He's not going to have Seraph because he's... Wow, you have Body Slam 
and Slam. Slam itself being like one of the worst moves in Pokemon, besides like Leech Life and stuff, because it makes absolutely no sense that it has 75 accuracy and I hate it so much, but this is surreal. It is surreal, man. It's L'Oreal. That doesn't even make sense. Your power is incredible. Someday I'll even summon you to join me in leading Team Steam. But right now I have to find Giratina. Why does nobody care if, like, you beat them in a battle? They're just like, oh, I lost. No biggie. Just gonna continue on with life like nothing happened. Do I need to heal up at all? Because I have a feeling we're gonna be battling Giratina. And I don't want to just Master Ball him. That seems, like, really cheap. I mean, last time I killed him. So why, why did I kill Giratina last time I was in the Distortion World? In hindsight, I don't actually know. Uh, well, here we go. Gira, 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 Gira. Oh my god, here we go. This is our first legendary encounter in all white platinum. Wow, Giratina appeared. Go, Rusty. Oh my god, it's level 50. Okay, um, does Giratina have Levitate? I don't remember. Let's just try crunching it. And, oh, you have Crunch too. Okay, that's cool. So... Ooh, oh, you have superpower. Okay, you know what? Um, let's switch out, maybe. Yeah, that's cool. Into Keckles. Uh, ooh, let's give him a hyper potion. I think I have, like, okay, your attack is falling and your defense is falling. I don't like that, because I can't, like, attack you with anything now. So let's just Ultra Ball. Um, maybe we'll get you, like, on the first. Oh my god, we're gonna once. I'm like, oh my god, we're gonna catch it, but no. So let's just keep trying. I have a good feeling about this one. Two. No way, no way, no way, no way. What? What? We got it. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Guaranteed is a Pokemon that said to live in a world on the reverse side of ours. It appears in an ancient cemetery. Wow. Awesome. Okay. Um, <laughs> that was unexpected. I'm going to nickname you... Um, I'm gonna nickname you Phantom, and I'm not gonna lie, like, I kind of want to use him, but, like, I don't know, Legendary's kind of OP. <laughs> now Giratina, open a world to the port, open a portal to the normal world, get us out of here. Awesome, so we're just back here, all alone. That's cool, can we just, can we fly back, or I wonder if there's gonna be, like, some stupid event on the way back. Alright, we can't use fly, and we're, oh, okay, so it's a good thing we didn't fly out of here. Wow, I'm glad you got back safely from the Starship World. I know being in that strange place must have been hard, but I'm so happy you got out. Professor Jasmine and I were going crazy trying to figure out a way to rescue you. Wesley, the Drake Breast City gym waiter, is waiting for a battle. I hope you can defeat him and challenge the Elite Four, maybe even myself. See you soon, friend. I almost forgot to tell you what happened after you and Zero got sucked into the portal. The other two leaders of Team Steam took advantage of our distraction and fled. Arceus just used teleport and vanished without a trace. Though I think it's still in a normal world. Where else would it go, you silly goose? Hey! phone not cool um so we just i we got Giratina. why i i can't believe that that was i was like expecting to like just kind of give in and use my master ball but wow and the bad thing is like Giratina's is probably never going to be used although i mean man with that move set superpower crunch dragon claw and actually i don't think we saw his fourth move but uh I'm like really, really tempted to use him. I mean, man, he looks so amazing. But let's go heal up and this, I had a lot of fun with this episode. I am, remember, as I said earlier, not all the Pokemon are in a box right now. I will have to go back and recatch a lot of them. But um, let's go take a look at our Phantom. He has a quiet nature, which I don't, no idea what that does. Superpower, Dragon Claw, Crunch, and Shadow Ball. Oh, oh God, I wanna use him so bad. Oh, I don't know. Actually, those stats look kind of low. Like, is that about right for a level 50 Pokemon? Like, 110 and 126? Let's go take a look at some of our Pokemon and see what their stats are like, because... I don't know why, but that seems low. Yeah, 149, 143, 116, 113, 130. Actually, uh... Wow, 186, dude. That seems about right, so I guess Gear using Giratina wouldn't be too overpowered? But, and we wouldn't have to trade it, which would be nice, but I... I don't know, but, um... Anyways, next time we'll be taking on the Drake Breast City Gym, and it'll be very exciting. I think I'm actually going to record that. Yeah, oh, I don't know. I kind of wanted to like do a long episode, but like with all that's happened, and 
Uh, no, we'll call it that for today, because this has been, like, a big special episode. So, next time we'll be taking on a Drake Best City Gym Leader, and I'm sure that'll go swimmingly. So, thank you for watching. How about maybe, for Giratina, let's go 218 likes. Thank you, guys. Until next time, I'm Hardy Tech Yo-Yo. Peace!